Do you find it hard to add fractions with different denominators? This is important because sometimes you'll have to add fractions that are different. For example, you might have to add a half and a quarter, or a third and a fifth. I'm going to show you how to use your times tables to help you with this. Let's say we have a quarter of a pizza and two sixths of a pizza, and we want to find out how much there is altogether. We can't just add the numerators because our answer will be in quarters and sixths, and this won't make any sense. So before we add fractions, we need to make sure that the denominator is the same. The denominator is the number at the bottom of the fraction. The top number is called the numerator. I need to find the lowest common multiple of both of the denominators. This is where knowing my times tables will really help me out. I can see that 12 is a multiple of both 4, 4 times 3 equals 12, and 6, 6 times 2 equals 12. So I will change both of the denominators to 12 by multiplying 4 times 3 and 6 times 2. With fractions, you need to do the same to the top as you do to the bottom. So I need to multiply 1 times 3, which is 3, and 2 times 2, which is 4. Now I can add the two numerators to find the fraction. So 3 twelfths plus 4 twelfths equals 7 twelfths. Going back to our original question, we can now see that 1 quarter plus 2 sixths equals 7 twelfths. Now it's your turn. Have a go at working out 3 quarters plus 2 ninths, remembering to show you're working, and show it to your tutor at your next Tutors United lesson. If you need extra help with your maths or English, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch the new videos as they come out. Or you can go to our website, tutorsunited.org.